In this example, we're going to apply the mere equation that we derived in the previous lecture to determine the height of the image as well as the distance from the center of the concave mirror to where our image is located. So, let's begin by reading the following sentence. So, an object with a height of 1.8 centimeters is placed right side up 25 centimeters to the left of a concave mirror. So we have the concave mirror and we place our object right side up as shown by the following purple arrow and the distance, the perpendicular distance from the center of the mirror to where the object is, is 25 centimeters. Now let's assume that the radius of curvature of our mirror is 32 centimeters. So the distance from the center of our mirror to this point, which is our radius of curvature, is 0.32 meters. So in part A, we want to find the location of the image. So we want to calculate the perpendicular distance from the center of our concave mirror to where our image is formed. So let's suppose this is our image. We want to calculate what this distance is. So we want to determine what our perpendicular uh, distance is from the center of the concave mirror to the image. In part B, we want to find what the size of the image is. So what is the height? So we're going to use the lateral magnification equation to calculate what the height is. So let's begin by recalling the relationship between the focal length and the radius of curvature. So for a concave mirror, the focal length F is equal to the radius of curvature R divided by 2. So because the R is 0.32 meters, that means we can take this, divide this by 2, and that gives us the focal length. So the focal length is 0.16 meters. So the distance from the center of our concave mirror to this position is 0.16 meters. So we're going to use this result in part A. So in part A, we want to apply the following equation. This equation is known as the mirror equation, which was derived in the previous lecture. So it tells us that 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. So since we're looking for the image distance, we essentially rearrange our equation into the following form. So 1 divided by our focal length minus 1 divided by the object distance is equal to 1 divided by the image distance. So let's plug in our F and let's plug in our DO. So 1 over F is equal to 1 over 0.16 meters. And this is simply 1 divided by 0.25 meters. So 1 divided by 0.16 minus 1 divided by 0.25 meters gives us 2.25 meters to the negative 1. And this is equal to 1 divided by DI. So if we multiply both sides by di and then we divide both sides by 2.25, we get the following result. So di is equal to 1 divided by 2.25 meters and this gives us about 0.44 meters. So that means the perpendicular distance from the center of our concave mirror to where our image is located is 0.44 meters or 44 centimeters. So let's assume this distance is 44 centimeters. Now, let's move on to part B. In part B, we want to use the result from part A to calculate the height of our image. So first, we want to determine the lateral magnification using the result from part A. So recall that the lateral magnification given by M is equal to negative of DI, the image distance, divided by DO, the object distance. So the 
the object distance is given to be 0.25 meters, the image distance was found in part A, 0.44 meters. So negative 0.44 meters divided by 0.25 meters gives us negative 1.76 meters. So this negative simply means our image is inverted. It's not right side up. So now we can use the following relationship between our lateral magnification, our image height, and our object height. So M is equal to HI divided by HO. This was shown in the previous lecture. So let's rearrange by multiplying both sides by HO. So HI, the image height, is equal to M, the lateral magnification multiplied by the object height. Now the object height is given to be 1.8 centimeters and the M was found in this section. So negative 1.76 multiplied by 1.8 centimeters gives us a value of negative 3.2 centimeters. So once again, the negative simply means our image is inverted and we're dealing with a real image because our image is found on the same side as the object. In other words, the rays of light actually pass through our image. So this is our image. Notice that the image height is greater than our object height because our magnification is greater than positive or negative one. 